What's up everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Obix and today we're continuing Bloodborne. On the last episode we finally explored the nightmares and we killed both Mikolash and the Amygdala. With that we got finally the challenge for the Lauren dungeons. And so today on this episode we're gonna finish the dungeons. We're gonna explore the Lauren, Is and the last Tumero chalices, because I needed some materials that I, I can only find on the Lauren chalices to reach the Yarnum Queen. So yeah, that's today's plan. I hope I can do it all today, although it might be wishing for too much. And then we'll go to the DLC and finish the game. So we're really close to the end, guys. So stick around for a bit longer. And yeah, let's do this. I really like the look of these dungeons, the way they look all messed up and sandy, like they've been abandoned for so long. It's pretty fun. And also, in case you are wondering why the hell do I have so many blood echoes, I finally um, accessed a dungeon with those online codes that people give. Yeah, I finally accessed a dungeon, uh, one of those online dungeons that people share the codes for. And basically you just stand on a corner and some guy somewhere dies to poison and you get like 80,000 blood echoes. If you have the moon runes equipped you get 140,000. So yeah, that's what I did. I no longer have to grind for blood echoes, also I have my blood vials and bullets maxed out. I grinded a, a ton of blood echoes just by standing there on that dungeon and I got rid of the grinding. So yeah, now every time that I need blood vials I just gotta go to that dungeon for a quick second, get a ton of blood echoes, buy blood vials and that's it. <laughs> wow, I never thought the day would come that the game would tell me that I cannot store blood vials because my inventory is at max. Ah, oh, this... this feels... amazing. Motherfucker. But yeah, I unlocked that dungeon to grind for blood echoes and I plan on eventually, once I get done with the main dungeons, because I have to, I will also grind for gems, because my weapon is at last level, is at level 10 but it still doesn't have the best gems, so I still can improve a bit the damage. Oh, I got hit by lightning. What the hell? Where the fuck am I going? Oh, I'm back. Okay, shit. <laughs> I didn't expect the loop. The only reason why I'm still exploring the dungeons is because I need the materials that they offer, especially on the treasure rooms. Oh, that's why I'm just running through. I have way too less health. The risk of dying is too big. <laughs> Amazing. Oh shit, motherfucker. I can't believe I actually used a trap in my favor. Ah. Oh, but this is fun. I like that. Using the arrows to kill the enemies, because probably the arrows do more damage than I do. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh, this is awesome, dude. Oh, motherfucker, dude. This is not even the first layer. This is the first optional area in the first layer. Oh. Motherfucker, dude. Oh shit. Is he dead? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so now let's run for the lever. See if there's any chests or anything that we gotta open to find materials, and then let's continue on. Hello, ladies. Hello. Just walking by. Please don't come after me. Please. <laughs> All right. So what's gonna happen here? There's no spideys. There's no enemies. Really. I don't mind. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, no. I don't know where I am. Come on. <laughs> I'm glad I caught that on camera. They got me. They really got me. Apologies, sir. I did not intend to disturb your slumber. Oh, no. Well, I found the lever. <laughs> run, bitch. Run, 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 run. <laughs> All right. Ooh <clears throat> oh. Prostate exam. Let's go. I still have the moon runes, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm just casually walking by on blood level 4 with just the moon runes equipped. Nothing else. It's not like I need any extra resistances or anything. And I'm also having fun with my drip as if clothes matter. Well, I'm just having fun. But is it a strategic fun? I don't think so. <laughs> I almost fell for it. Man, it feels so good that I no longer have to get annoyed when I lose my blood echoes. Because I can get this exact amount in seconds on the other dungeon. And I don't have to do anything. Also, the funny thing is, that dungeon cuts your health by a big amount. And since I'm at blood level 4, my health goes from 570 something to 8. I have 8 points of health on that dungeon. And it's so funny. It's such a little amount of health. Oh. oh no Motherfucker Before I come here, let me explore above first. Always better. Always better. There might be some guy shooting or whatever. Holy shit, I do not remember this. God, I love the layout of these dungeons. I tried to dodge. What is it you have to offer? Oh no. Please tell me there is no big enemy here. Okay. See? It doesn't have to be all you're about to die type of shit. 
You can just walk into a room and have no one against you. Oh! I got jump scared. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I didn't see them. I don't see any spider. Where the fuck are they? Oh, it's disgusting. Do they just show up from the sand or whatever is this on the roof? Oh no, they're here. Okay. Alright. Time for the boss. I have no idea which one it is. Let's hope for the best. Oh, okay. Should be fine. Motherfucker! <laughs> Don't you dare. Oh! No! Fucking hell, dude! No! <laughs> oh! This does brain damage. That's frenzy for you right there. <laughs> I'm risking too much, I'm way too close. The thing is I need to be close to trigger his attack that is easier to parry. If this easy boss is taking me this amount of work. Holy shit. <laughs> that was an accident. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I could get... I could have gotten fucked with that attack. That was not well planned. I'm also, I'm always trying to bury that one too late.
the the animation from hit the start of his attack to the start of the parry was so smooth that it took me a, a second to realize I actually parried him. See? Super smooth. What the hell? he was gonna do the fist. I was afraid that I parried him too close.
Holy shit, dude. Holy fuck. I really thought that was gonna go wrong. Oh, dude. <laughs> I can kill him with two or three shots if I want to, but I don't want to cheese him. Bury them, forgot about it. Is he dead? Yeah, motherfucker, all right. <laughs> What the fuck? I've been facing this guy for almost 50 minutes. 47 minutes to be exact. It's a real game of patience right now. Holy shit. I forgot to put the Streamlabs recording, but I just got this Beast Claw, which is one of the items that I need to pick up. I just thought this was too funny not to record, because... After such a long time of saying, I remember in some dungeon there's gonna be a boulder falling down the stairs. I see this. Basically, I got to the stairs the other way around. And I find these fuckers staring at the boulder waiting for me to show at the bottom of the stairs. Fucking funny, dude. Well, I guess I'll just... Kill them? I'm figuring out what's the best way. Well, definitely not this one. <laughs> definitely not this one. Alright everyone. So it's time for the Blood Starved Beast. Let's see how this goes. You have a lot of health. Really? Nice. <clears throat> I had the suspicion for a long time that I could do this. What? There we go! Nice! All right! Easy. Didn't take that long. Took like, what, four, five attempts? Nice. Yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but Blood Starved Beast is one of the bosses that I actually like the most, just because I had a really... a really fun moment with it when I played my first playthrough. Because in one of the dungeons, I think it was in one of the Defiled or Cursed and... You know, one of those different ones. Um, I was exploring one of those dungeons and it cut my health in a big amount. And Bloodstarred Beast was one of the bosses. And I thought it was pretty easy when I played it on the normal playthrough, on the normal game. And then I got to that dungeon and I had to be so careful. It was basically like facing it in Blood Level 4. So I had to be really careful. One or two hits could kill me immediately. And it was really funny. It took me like a whole afternoon or maybe even two days to defeat it. But I kept having so much fun because I felt like I was playing really well. It was forcing me to play well. So even though I kept dying over and over, I didn't get as frustrated because I really liked that it was pushing me to be better. So yeah. Alright everyone. It's time to defeat the Aberrant Beast. And just a heads up. Nero is having a bit of zoomies, so if she starts meowing a lot on the background, I apologize.
Why am I so bad at dodging that attack? Excuse me. Okay. I don't think this will this boss will be hard to defeat, it's just that I don't remember his attacks well. Oof, that didn't go well. That didn't go well either. What the fuck? I dodged. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Smart move. Puta que pariu, com caralho. Tá difícil. One hour later. I can't believe this. Oh, that attack is so annoying! Motherfucker, dude. Another hour later. I can't believe this. This is the one fucking last boss on this dungeon. Just this one. One, 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 one. It's fucking unbelievable. The next day. Ah, fucking hell! Oh! No! Saturday, more like pain day. Come on, motherfucker, come on, let's dance. Come on. Come on. You wanna dance? Let's dance. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're just repeating the same attacks. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> All right. All right, so far so good. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on.
I don't know how that played out. How that worked out, but okay. The pop-up was annoying me, so I had to pick up the supposed blood echoes. stresses me out when I dodge another attack that is not so common. When he does the attacks that I'm not used to and I dodge them, it stresses me out. My heart starts pumping immediately. Oh shit, motherfucker. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. I'm gonna beat your ass, man. All right. All right. All right. I'm feeling so tense, Jesus. Okay. Oh? Motherfucker! Take that! Yeah! Yeah, buddy! Yeah! Yeah! Simba! <laughs> Nero was sleeping. I'm such a, a bastard. I did it. I did it. Yeah. So that's the end of this dungeon. Nice. Meow. Finally. For fuck's sake. We got there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> this wasn't even on purpose, but yeah. Yeah, that's the spirit. I have done my duty. This dungeon is complete. Ah, uh, yeah, and for the record, over a hundred times that I died to this fucker, definitely. And I spent over 200 blood vials on it. Because I refilled, like I, I went again to the dungeon to farm blood echoes and buy blood vials and I realized I had 300 something instead of 600. So yeah. Even though I had so many attempts that I died with the full stock of blood vials, I still spent over 200 of them. Insane. But it's over. What the fuck, and I already have 400 something. Damn. Alright people, time to push forward to the lower lore. I just had the funniest bug happen. Unfortunately, I did not record it with my reaction, but I saved the recording from uh, the PlayStation. So maybe I'll in include it on the episode because it was crack up, it was so funny. All right, so I want to show you guys something. Let's see if I can make it happen. Because I don't know if there's something bugging with this dungeon, but it seems like the enemies either spawn somewhere different after I die or they just straight up come after me right after I spawn and show up in different rooms. All right, so first this wolf shows up. Yeah, see the madman? See that fucker coming after me? This guy is not supposed to be here. Why the fuck is he out of his place? See? 
there's this chest and there's no enemy. That fucker was supposed to be guarding this. And guess what? He's gonna show up soon because he climbed the stairs. I'm certain of it. Yeah, see? And the thing is, this is the very beginning of this dungeon. I just started the lower Lauren. This is the first layer. It's not even the normal room, I mean the treasure room that shows up before the first area. So if the enemies are behaving like this here, I don't know if it's gonna be like this through the whole dungeon, but that's a headache if it is. Alright everyone, it's time for the first boss of the lower Lauren and I have no idea which one it is. Let's see. Lauren Silver Beast. Isn't this one of the guys that sprays fire? Exactly. Okay. I should be chill. I tried to dodge. Easy. First try. <laughs> Alright everyone, it's time for the boss of the second layer and I have no idea which one it is, so we'll see. Not again. Not again, please! <laughs> I just dealt with you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're kidding me. Why do you do this to me? I just fought this fucker for hours on end. I dodged. I don't want to fight this fucker. <laughs> oh no. No. Oh. The brain damage that it's doing to me. <sighs> really? I can't believe I'm doing this again. I didn't... Oh, I'm alive! What the fuck? What the fuck? I had given up. I had given up. I saw the bar drop down. Holy shit, I'm alive. I fucking killed him. I fucking killed him finally, again. Oh, dude, I'm shaking. My heart is racing so much, I can't explain it. You don't understand the trauma that this fucker was giving me. Every single time that I see that the health has dropped to about one third, I'm already thinking I'm gonna get screwed at some point. And I finally did it, again. I spent two days facing this fucker for two separate fights. It's fucking unbelievable. I had to face the same boss twice. And for the record, I spent hours facing this fucker and lots of blood vials. 
I've been I've already repaired the weapon twice while facing him once on the other dungeon once in this dungeon I believe and I think I've already spent about 600 blood vials on it because I kept refilling them so that they wouldn't run out but I've spent a shit ton of time and blood vials on this and there's still one more layer on this dungeon I'll just probably run through it and get to the boss and get this done with one thing that I need to do is to buy a chalice here at these messengers on the third layer of the Lauren, lower Lauren chalice this one I don't necessarily need it but this way I have access to all the chalices in the future so that's handy so I ran through the last layer of the lower Lauren chalice and it's time to face the Lauren Darkies. I will explore the rest of the layer properly off camera, but yeah, I just want to get done with the bosses in the dungeon. Alright everyone, that's gonna be it for this episode. I did not get to complete this dungeon, but I will come back another time, maybe on my own time off camera, and defeat the lore and Dark Beast. Once I do, I'll just save the gameplay recording from the PlayStation, because it's pretty easy to do that. Um, if I manage to do this before I post the episode, I will include it here. If not, consider the Dark Beast Pearl defeated, because I'll probably include that piece of gameplay on the following episode or something or some other episode just to prove that i've actually done it and yeah that's gonna be it for this episode thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you guys on the next one take care